Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've pretty much completed this site now. Um, going to upload it to a live server today because what I want to do is we created this contact form. We want to enable this to work and to do that I've written a bit of PHP. Now PHP goes quite beyond the scope of this actual video series so what I'll do is I'll put a download link below where you can download this PHP file that I've created and what we're going to do is upload to a live server add the PHP file and send this email form right here make sure it's going to work fine now PHP is a live script so it'll only work on a live server you can add your PHP file to your site here on your local PC but it won't send it won't it won't work until you upload it to a live server so that's what we're going to do today so first thing I want to do if we go to our site root folder root folder is just the folder where we started we built all these pages our custom CSS file don't need those two images those for, for demos inside here we've got the images for the site inside that IMG folder I've got a send mail PHP file which I've written uh, that we need to upload so I'm going to upload all of this and I'll show you the send mail file and show you exactly what we're going to do so I've gone to my hosting and I've got an empty directory I'm going to put this site up as a subdomain one of my main domains because I don't have a domain for it obviously because it's a demo site you would have a domain and if you did this would be your root directory your public HTML which you can see is empty unlike WordPress there's no installation all I have to do is simply copy all of these files and put them into this directory here so let's go ahead and do that there's two ways I can do it I could zip all of these up into a zip file upload the single file and then un unzip them all or I can actually upload all of the files then create a new folder and upload all of the images which I think I'll do because there's not too much in this particular site so I'm going to go ahead and do that and hit my upload button this is a cPanel system I'm using a lot of hosting companies do that now I'm just selecting all of the files in my folder here not the folder that's in my root folder so just the files for this particular one and all I'm going to do is drag them in here and it'll be the same if you have a, a GoDaddy or Bluehost most of them use a cPanel system just contact your hosting provider if yours looks different I know like iPage has a very different one they're all complete now so let's go back and as you can see they're all in this root folder now what I need to do is create a folder called IMG and we'll do the same thing for the images. So I'm going to hit the plus folder. I'm going to call it IMG, the same as we called it in our offline folder. Again, I'm just going to open this up, select all the images. hit the upload actually let's go back I don't think I was in the right place make sure we're in the image folder itself now hit the upload I'll get rid of that one got all those images drag them across there we go complete I've got a pretty fast hosting service here it's a uh, web host Python and it's SSL so it does upload pretty quickly so let's go back to the root we've got exactly the same here as we do here I'll just change this to list mode image and then those are images we didn't upload then here's all our other stuff here that's the same there's that PHP 
send mail right here get that out of the way now don't need that anymore so let's go ahead and open that in my brackets software brackets is a text editor if you don't have a text editor you can download brackets from a link below it's absolutely free and has got some great features so here we are I've got all my site files open here here's the send mail PHP I've created basically if we look at our contact form here's our actual form right here so if we look at this here are our inputs first one's an email it's got the name of email if we look at our send mail here's our email email subject message email subject message so we're targeting these fields I'm not going to go too deeply into this so the first one's called email, next one's called subject, and I've just noticed something wrong here. This is a type of email field, so it re requires you to put in an at sign, and also usually a dot something at the end, else it'll query it. I've got this, which is just a subject field, as an email type as well. Don't want that, just want that as text. So you can just write characters in there, that would have flown up a flag had we tried that and the last one's called message and the other important thing is here is the action so what happens when they hit this submit button is an action and the action is send mail PHP so it'll run our send mail PHP so I'll save that I better re-upload that contact HTML now I've changed this I'm going to just select that one. I'm going to delete it. Skip the trash. And re upload the one that we've just saved, which will be that one right there. Upload. Fantastic. Well, our site should be online now. Let's see. It's at my main domain, system22.net forward slash subdomain was called B4. So let's have a look. And there it is. There's our site live online. Just exactly what we wanted. Check everything's there. No images missing. looking good fantastic great okay let's test out our email to see if it's gonna work I'm sure it will it's pretty much, I'm gonna do something here I'm just gonna put in that which is not an email address and see if it actually flags it when I try and send this and let's say time time now is 10 12 a.m. and let's hit the send button and see what happens There we go, it's flagged that because that's not a proper email address. I think we can just put an at in there. That should satisfy it. It really wants a .com or a .net or something on the end as well. But I think that's all you have to do. Make sure there's an at in there. Let's send that. There we go. There's the message that we wanted to pop up. Your email has been sent. Then when we hit the OK, it should go back to the contact page. There we go. Okay, well let's go to my email client and see whether we've received that message yet. It may take a couple of minutes to come through. Okay, here it is. And it's 10.14 now. 10.12 is when we sent it. There's the email, subject, and that little message we put in there. And it says from our Bootstrap 4 site. 
so everything seems to be working absolutely perfectly. So there we have it, we've uploaded our site to a live hosting environment and tested out our contact form, made sure that's going to work. As I say, I'll put a link to that PHP form down below so you can download it and just add it to your site. Or if you're interested, I have got a video about how I created a PHP form. I'll put a link down there as well if you'd like to learn more. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.